During the early morning hours, the plows had to maneuver around abandoned cars on Interstate 84. Front loaders had to be brought in to remove the snow because it was too wet and heavy for the plows. Just going to keep on going until they tell you to stop. Keep going until the Lord tells us it's all over. And he said stop on Interstate 84. Nearly 10 miles of highway was turned into a parking lot and a giant wall of semi-trucks was formed. Right now I'm standing in the middle of Interstate 84. That's right, these are the eastbound lanes. Traffic has been completely stopped, shut down. That's because state police say there are more than 100 accidents. All the way from exit 69, that's about where we are now, all the way down to the Massachusetts border, exit 70, 71, 72. As you can see here, traffic hasn't moved, some truckers say, in over four hours, and they're getting very frustrated. How long you been here? Since 1 o'clock last night. How bad were the roads? This Terrible. Worse than I've ever seen them. And he has been driving for 20 years. Some motors were waiting so long they actually ran out of gas. It took seven hours before the highway was reopened, and then the power went out. These don't work, do they? You know, nothing is working. You're right. None of it's working right now. The, uh, the power just went off. Motorists were stranded without gas until the power came back on. And hundreds of passengers were stranded at Bradley International Airport. About the only thing moving on the runways were the snow plows. Many passengers slept on the floor because all the hotels in the area were booked up. We survived. That's about all with kinks in our hacks of our necks. <laughs> but by 9 this morning, the runways were plowed, the planes de-iced and cleared for takeoff. Thank you. 